Fundamentally, we aim to sort of transform and elevate the motorcycling experience. And by doing that, we expect to make a huge dent in transforming transportation globally. What are some of the top features that you would highlight with the Zero SRF? The three key things that we talk about when we talk about SRF are effortless power, effortless control, and effortless connection. Effortless power gets to the things you're used to hearing about, which are the performance characteristics, torque, horsepower, top speed. Effortless control gets to the control systems, our new operating system, the Cypher 3, an advanced motorcycle stability control. And the third is effortless connection. Through our app, the dash, and a wireless module, we're now making the first IoT motorcycle and have a lot of functionality in the app and on the bike that's never existed before. The maximum range of the vehicle in eco mode is going to be um, about 220 miles. We publish our highway range at about 165 to 170 miles, and that's at 65 miles an hour. So the faster you ride, the less range you're going to see. And then recharge time for us, if you uh, use the maximum in our uh, rapid charging system, it's going to be 12 kilowatts and it's going to be around an hour to go from zero, totally empty, to 80% full. How much VC have you guys raised? Well, we've had a consistent private equity partner for the last 10 years of the 13 and they've invested alone $250 million to get us to this point. How do you get to profitability as an e-motorcycle startup? The largest challenge that I face today um, as CEO is making the appropriate investments to scale our production to meet the demand we've seen for SRF. That, in addition to the growth you see in EV adoption in the four-wheel space, entrance of competitors, continued growth in infrastructure, they all indicate that the scale we need is here, that we're hitting a different kind of ramp. And scale, fundamentally, is the only way when you're making a premium product like this that you cross that threshold to profitability. Is the SRF model a bid to go mass market uh, against uh, gas motorcycles and also other e-moto startups? We're still making a premium motorcycle at a premium price point. If you were going to make a comparison uh, to Tesla, this would be more our Model S than our Model 3. Right. as far as a high-performance motorcycle. But I think the gaps, and in, in any kind of gaps that had existed in the past between fit and features and finish on an electric motorcycle versus a gas, those are gone. We approached this, I don't know that I would say differently, but we, we were able to approach it without all, all the fences that an old architecture would impose on you. And the industrial design of the motorcycle, as great as it was, it was done afterwards, right? You had an electric powertrain and then you did the industrial design of the motorcycle to fit that electric powertrain. On this bike, from the beginning, it all had to be integrated. We knew that as we were doing higher levels of performance, we would need to have heat sinks on the battery to, to allow better uh, thermal transfer of that heat generation to the outside. So why not make those heat sinks look beautiful, right? Same thing with the motor. In here, we're making the motor the central part of the motorcycle. All the teams were collaborating to develop all this at the same time. So it was really great to see the collaboration and the teamwork in making all this happen, which you know, results in a product that's, that's pretty phenomenal. I think that we have been the brand that has helped to define the category of premium electric motorcycles. With the launch of SRF, we're, we now sort of redefined what it means and, and raised the bar. So I think we still see ourselves as the protagonist. Whether it comes to regional or global tax incentives, pushing the technology forward and pushing adoption and awareness, this is what we do every day. It's all we do. And we continue to push that forward and be the brand that's leading the charge when it comes to two-wheel electric.